So, okay, we have three questions for this set. They are all rather um, technical, but um, <laughs> let's see how well ChatGPT does. So, and uh, I think, uh, let's see, yeah, they are technical, and only one question is from your textbook. I think I just didn't like the uh, uh, questions in open text, physics textbook. So, so, okay, let me start with this question here. So I gotta type it in a little bit so that I see wave mechanics, we use wave function. And I'll type it out the way I normally would if I had to, you know, type this out on an email. So um, capital psi xt to represent a particle. What is the physical meaning of the wave function? Capital psi xt. Note you cannot directly give a meaning of um, if you cannot directly give a physically meaningful description of psi xt, which actually will be the case, feel free to describe a quantity related to, uh, let me do the um, emphasis, related to uh, psi xt that you can assign a physical meaning to. I think that's what we are kind of getting at in the lab uh, this week. So. Uh, prob yeah, probably the amplitude, that's the name. Um, yeah, specific value, probably density of final x in time. Uh, in other words, subsequent is that it encodes in Um, I would have some issue with that, um, in the sense that, um, uh, wave function contains more information than that. You can apply operators to it and actually get things like uh, momentum of the state out of it. So this is overly limiting, but um, this is the key part. So I guess on the whole sum of it, it I would probably consider that answer to be correct, uh, at least uh, if it came from a student. ChatGPT, uh, half correct, maybe. Let's look at the next question. As strange as it may seem, and uh, you know, students never, almost never get this right, and I suspect that's because they are copying their answers from. I'm talking about past the semesters. They are copying their answers from Czech answers that never got it right. But let's see how ChatGPT answers it. Minus h bar squared over two n uh, partial squared psi. Um, I'm kind of doing this in half LaTeX notation, uh, partial x squared plus x psi x is equal to i h bar uh, partial psi partial t is related to a concept and we are film to this I didn't want to very good to this and describe the method. Yeah. All right, we'll see. Um, a familiar concept is somehow emphasized. So um, I believe the my model answer talks about energy conservation and uh, refers to operators. Maybe we'll see. Yeah, conservation of energy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. So if you say this, I will know you copied that answer <laughs> from somebody. Because in this class, I actually, this is one, maybe a bit of an odd thing that, um, well, I mean, it's not odd per se. It's odd from the perspective of a uh, class where we've talked about four momentum. So we've covered some material that's more advanced than what you do see in a typical lower division physics textbook. And a lot of professors I've known who covers materials at that level will probably likes bringing in things like principle of least action. I don't like it so much, so I haven't. So if you mention principle of least action, I kind of know that you didn't get it from me. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I mean, that's not incorrect. Uh, there's a, something called uh, Lagrangian mechanics. Um, uh, Lagrangian mechanics and something called uh, Hamiltonian mechanics. Um, it what they are saying here is related to that. Uh, Lagrangian mechanics is where you do uh, minimization or extremization of action and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, Euler Lagrangian equation, right? <laughs> um, 
Yeah, yeah. No, so if you say that any of this, uh, I know that didn't uh, come from me, and it possibly came from, you know, source you are copying from. <laughs> possibly dishonestly. <laughs> uh, anyways, <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, all of that is not wrong. It's wrong for the maybe. It's not appropriate for our level of the class. Um, so the so there's the kind of. Um, I've uh, borrowed from upper division the ideas that I believe is actually appropriate for lower division, like operators, idea of operators. I've done that. Um, so that's what you should be referring to <laughs> if you're following course material. So let me uh, put it this way. Uh, please describe the difference between Lagrangian mechanics, uh, uh, Lagrangian formulation of mechanics, maybe quantum in parenthesis, and the Hamiltonian uh, formulation of quantum. There's uh, actually uh, something, uh, it's in some, at some four-year universities, it's covered under um, class, um, um, analytical mechanics, which is classical mechanics with the Euler-Lagrange equation, and they actually told that, like Hamiltonian, it doesn't have to be a quantum mechanical thing, it can be Classical mechanical thing. Um, let's see what it does. I don't know. <laughs> this is not actual our homework question. Uh, yeah, yeah, like when it's list action, Hamiltonian, uh, some of the, yeah, generalized coordinates. It used to extend, yeah, quantum mechanics. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going off tangent. Let's uh, do the so um, the way ChatGPT answered this. I would uh, I guess I would put it this way. This is the kind of answer. I mean, I'm not giving people advice on how to cheat. Please don't cheat. But if you were cheating, um, this is really the kind of thing you have to watch out for. Uh, when people cheat and they don't know what it is they are cheating off of. Sometimes you copy off of material that's way more advanced than where you are supposed to be. And um, that's how your professors will know that you are not being honest. Sorry, I see a spider. <laughs> Let's get to question number three. Um, suppose you have a wave packet. Okay, okay uh, let me make sure. Um, yeah. Make a measurement. Measure to be at. Five point, with a very high precision, yeah. Suppose less than a nanometer, you immediately remeasure. What will you measure? Yeah. So, um, so the kind of the way measurements are supposed to work, you should measure it basically where it was when you first found it. Let's see if we get it right. After first uh, collapses, right? Not, yeah, Dirac delta function. I don't know if I mentioned it in this class, but it's the kind of thing that, uh, you know, it's the sharply picked thing. It's not a function, it's a distribution. <laughs> I centered it, yeah. Second measurement. Uh, yeah, 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 that's, that's correct. Uh, yeah, yeah, so. All right, I, I, sorry, I, I appear disappointed because, you know, I've said this before. As long as... Um, uh, so, so for example, let's say I'm trying to l l use ChatGPT as a learning tool, and it mentions Dirac delta function, and I don't know what that means. Could you please explain what Dirac uh, delta function is? It didn't come up in class. Um, I don't know if it'll be a good teaching tool. Um, Maybe it is now a good teaching tool. I don't know. That's a good description. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Um, it's a May 3rd version, so it's uh, like month and a half more advanced than last version I've been using. <laughs> so, um, I mean, so the answers are good. I just, uh, uh, like, uh, the, like what it gave for number two, because uh, it comes down to ChatGPT doesn't know exactly how I cover it, and um, as I was saying at the beginning, I wrote these questions because I didn't like some of the most of the conceptual questions that OpenStack was asking. So 